Right, hello and welcome back to another video. As some of my eagle-eyed viewers will notice, I recently acquired an SJ Cam M20, uh, which shoots in 2K or 4K, but it's true 2K and fake 4K, so I just shoot in 2K. Uh, at the moment, I think it's very good for the money. I haven't flown with it much because I've been putting this gimbal together, but I think it's an excellent piece of kit. So today I'm just going to show you a bit about this gimbal that I've designed. I've used a couple of RC timer motors here and then a really small control board that's underneath here. I've designed everything myself so I've made this mount, this arm and the actual SJ cam holder itself as you can see here. It's actually got a place for the video transmitter as well so that's all nice and all the wiring's underneath. So I'll just show you a quick preview of it actually running. And I'll show you the problem I'm currently having with it. So as you can see, it stabilises okay. Everything's fine there, but as you can see here, it's not quite balanced correctly. At the moment, it's only running off a 2S battery, so it's even worse now than it would be with its normal 12 volts. So I've just redesigned the arm a bit. I've just shortened it down to hopefully try and get the balance point a bit better and also because of that it actually fouls on the quad if you go into a steep stop so I've actually made the arm longer this way but shorter this way so I'm just gonna replace the arm but in but then show you at the same time the actual a bit of the design and obviously changing it over so I've just removed the SJ cam here so you can actually see a bit closer so this was basically my first design of arm it was just too far over to the centre so then I went again and designed this one which is what we're currently using here so I've just as I said I've just redesigned the arm again but this is just it off the quad so you can take a look now under here is the actual control board it's quite small if I uh, just cut Just cut that off there. As you can see, it's very small and it neatly fits in there. All I've had to do is just turn these connectors round through uh, 180 degrees, and then this pin here is just where your control goes on for your pitch or your second one for your for your roll. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna pull these wires back through here because these motors are actually donut motors so you can actually run a wire directly through the middle which is quite good so I've put that wire through so I need to just pull that out Right then, here's a moment of truth. I think we need to go shorter. Right, so I've just come up with an idea just to try to get my new dimension that I need to reduce the length of the arm by. So I've done it using sticky tape. So as you can see now, it might not hold for long, but as you can see now, it's pretty well balanced. So I'm just going to measure, measure the distance there and just uh, use that to reduce the length of the arm by. Right, it's a couple of days later, I've had a couple of problems with my 3D printer, I've got it fixed now. So I've just shortened it down in this direction by about 3.5mm to hopefully get the balance correct. So I'll quickly put it together and see how it looks. As 
you can see there, it's pretty well balanced now. Right, so here's it working, looking really good. I'll show you some footage with the old arm. You'll see it dip slightly to the to the side, to the right hand side when it's overbalanced. But hopefully this will sort that out now. So I'll be putting up some videos in the near future. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the videos. Thank you.